hello and welcome everybody in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to properly use your superior drummer 3 in your door in this case I'm using Cubase 11 and the most important thing I want to show you is how to set multi outputs from superior drummer 3 and how to actually use the beautiful preset sounds from superior drummer 3 instead of the raw mic sounds with a huge sample library of about 230 GB which comes with Superior Drummer 3 and also the limitless number of uh, mics that you can use on your drum set. I believe SD3 is the best VST that you can have to get as close as possible to the real drum sounds. One area I struggled in the beginning is uh, to get the real beautiful uh, presets from SD3 into my project when I bounce them. I could only get the raw mic sounds but not those professionally mixed preset sounds available in this vast library of uh, Superior Drama 3. Uh, at the end I uh, worked it out and that's why I'm doing this video to share those tips with you uh, so you can enjoy uh, Superior Drama 3 uh, to the maximum. So I will be uh, talking about how to uh, set uh, multi outputs and how to use the preset sounds and also maybe in another video I will uh, talk about how to uh, get mono outputs. Uh, by default SD3 outputs are all stereo so we need to convert tracks like kick drums to mono which is a separate process. Okay let's get started. Here in my project in Cubase 3 I have created a, a track with Superior Drama 3 uh, and I have already recorded some MIDI as you can see in these regions. So let's uh, cycle it and play back and hear what it sounds like here we go you can listen here right everything looks okay uh, and the midi track plays nicely let's bounce this track to create an audio file i'm gonna change the render settings here from my previous project going to make it dry signal and uh, render it and we have an audio file let's play our bounce audio track now have a listen now if you go back onto my mixer window you will see that we have a single output channel that is the uh, default stereo output of Superior Drama 3, output 1 and 2 in one channel. <coughs> Obviously, the, it is not what we are after. We need a multi-track for our mixing. So I'm going to delete this uh, track and let's reactivate the MIDI channel. Back in the Superior Drama window, I have selected a Superior Drama 3 default kit. Uh, I like this kit, it sounds uh, really nice. Let's have a listen again. As I said, uh, this is a nice kit, but if you go to the mixture tab, you will see that uh, there is no processing at all, and it is the plain default mixture. All the channels are going into one uh, single stereo channel, output one and two. That's why we end up with a single output when we bounce it. Now, let's see how we can use the presets in Superior Drama 3 to spice up our drum sets without changing the drum kit at all. Let's open our drum kit library. You will see that there are so many uh, drum kits in there. And uh, if you click on a specific drum kit here, club kit basic, it will change the whole drum kit in there. Uh, have a listen. Let's switch it back to my preferred drum kit, the default one. I like the arrangement and the components of this drum kit which is ideal for my uh, project but I want a different sound so what I will do is I'll go to another drum kit select one that you like and then click on this little arrow in there to select a part there you go it will say select part so click on that and on this window there are various options available to select an individual part of this drum kit so as I mentioned before I'm not going to use this uh, drum kit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclick that but keep the mixture on that will load the mixture of Pearl BB kit onto my default drum kit. 
Now my drum kit sounds louder and fatter. Let's compare it with my previous setup. Same kit, different mixture. Have a listen. There's a huge difference. That's the beauty of uh, having these presets. So you can mix and match your sounds as you wish. Let's reload the Pearl BB kit mixture which will give me that uh, beautiful thick snare which I prefer. Now let's see the mixture we have loaded and you can see why the sound is that different. There are so many uh, plugins between you can remove the plugins if you want. You can see the individual mic channels in blue here and these mic channels are already been sent to individual buses. Uh, all three kick mics are going into the kick bus and the snares to the snare bus and hi-hats to hi-hats and all four toms are going into one bus called toms and then your overheads and the ambient mics they all have been channeled into individual buses even at this level you can see how much processing is going on with all these uh, inserts okay now we have to configure this mixture to get multi channels out instead of one single output like that we go to this uh, drop down at the corner and select apply multi channel outputs here as easy as that now i have uh, my multiple outputs in superior drama 3 mixture all i have to do now is uh, to send these individual buses to the output of my choice if you play it back you see that everything is going into output one and two now you need to do one more thing before routing these buses to the outputs we need to enable these outputs a few different ways of doing this in studio drama 3 go to the top corner there's a triangle there click on that and in that drop down menu select activate outputs so i can individually activate these outputs like that for example now i have just activated three and four five and six now i want to show you uh, another way of doing this so let's deactivate the ones that we have already activated here we go last one okay in cubase you can enable outputs in two different places if you can't see the vsti instrument in your right panel enable it there and then go to the vst and click on this drop down uh, arrow there and then uh, click activate outputs sorry guys that window has gone into a different screen which i have not been uh, recording I'm using multi screens uh, but the same window can be open on the left panel by clicking on the arrow here it will open exactly the same panel and then you can uh, activate outputs like this it is easy to do here than in superior drama 3 if we go to mixture window when I activate the output you will see the channel added automatically <coughs> for the number of outputs that we are going to activate When we play the track again now, you will see still it is playing in only output 1 and 2. That is because we have not sent any signals to the other output channels. To do that, you go back to Superior Drama Mixture and there we have to assign all these buses to individual outputs. Let's do that starting from the kick bus. It goes to 1 and 2. And snare to 3 and 4. Let's fast forward this bit. Now if you play, you will see that uh, all the output channels are active. I'm going to name these channels uh, for our convenience. I'll be back when it is done. Now the output channels are easily recognized and uh, let's play it again to double check. All looking good. Remember the signals we are, we are sending to these outputs are processed preset sounds. Let's solo the kick and play it. You can hear the well compressed kick. From that preset to compare the sounds now i'm going to send just the dry signals from the mic channels to the output uh, channel one and two now you can hear the unprocessed raw kick mic sounds from uh, the default kit let's do the same uh, to the snare mic uh, you select that and send it to the snare output and you will hear the default uh, set mic sounds 
which is pretty dull obviously now let's route it back as it was in the uh, preset to the bus and onto the output and then you can uh, hear the difference you can see that it is well compressed and they have added a lot of sustain to the tail the period drum is loaded with lots of plugins you can use them to process your signals here right in uh, Superior Drama 3. This will spare more memory and CPU, which you can use in other instruments and channels in your door. In the project window, you will see that your output channels are already added there. So we can remove the unnecessary uh, outputs to make it simpler. In the mixer window, you have the same channels, which I have named already as you can see here. Right, thank you for watching and uh, I will see you back in part 2 of this video where we will talk about uh, how to bounce mono outputs.